welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're we're in the rolling again and uh, did a bunch of messing around with lights so we're going to talk about that i don't have any external add-on lights on this truck right now we will uh, chat about it on the way but we've got a little bit of a distance to go i think 371 we're in houston outside of houston we're heading down to brownsville to the port of brownsville with an hemtt or Hammett, I guess, uh, military vehicle on the back of uh, Bart's step deck. So good looking trailer, cool load. I've never hauled it before. So I thought, uh, why not? It's green. <laughs> we got the uh, cash money skin on here from uh, the real life um, uh, semi-casual show from uh, Fitzgerald Peterbilt. So thought we'd uh, give it a run on this truck. So, let's pay attention to frame rates here as we get going. And, uh, let's see what we gotta do to get out of here. Looks like we've gotta get over there and out. I think we have to turn right, go back around the yard here. Pretty sure. Could have a look. Yeah, gotta do. Yep. So the frames are a little bit jumpy with no lights on and uh, with this truck I've got everything maxed on my graphics so they're full tilt and I uh, just want to experiment with this. So we're dipping below 60 frames there. Wait a minute, go it over here. But with lights, like I tried to... Uh, uh, watermelon lights like full tilt just loaded it up with lights I tried loading it up with penny lights and uh, various different configurations and what I found was it it runs not bad in daylight even with everything maxed out but if you are gonna get in the dark like and I found the cutoff point to be if I went at 6 in the morning, it was bad, and if I changed the time to, where was it, 7? 7? Yeah, 7 was bad, 8 was okay, I think that was it. Or was it 6 and 7? I forget. Darn it. But there's a, uh, God, I was doing so many things, I was just throwing stuff at it, left, right, and center. But I, I ended up going too long on it, and I'm going to be late for my lunch. <laughs> because uh, uh, I hated a, a lot of time messing with it. But anyway, long story short, we're not running any external lights right now. And um, it's still a little choppy, but it's not terrible. And like I say, graphics maxed. Now, if we had lights on right now, and let's see, 655, we're getting about to the point of day where it would start to smooth out a little bit, but you're still, like, you know, 51, 54, 55 frames per second. And uh, it didn't matter what lights I put on it, if I got out of the cab, everything was good. So I could get 60 frames per second outside the cab with any amount of lights. And on top of that, I've tested it with that file that Roland, uh, Roland is included with the Roland, and that's the uh, light mod for lower power computers that you can put above the truck files and I didn't notice any difference with it it didn't seem to make any difference in fact in a couple of little tests I was doing it seemed worse so I don't quite understand that but here we're, we're not getting 60 FPS oh now we are but we were yeah it's little fussy right now but like I say I don't think I've ever run this truck fully maxed before I think I always turn something down to run it so we don't have that going on here I do like this truck and uh, 
Man, it'd be nice to be able to run it with everything going. I like the skin on it, got the mud flaps done. Accelerate that truck there. We've got our 805 DD60 in here. Should be pretty stout. Our cargo is uh, 42,849. So I would assume we're going to be able to fall away from that guy with the uh, container next to us here. Starting to get them now. I can't an automatic in there. Boy, we're clear. Yes, yeah, still a little choppy. Look at that, 52 frames per second right now. 54. Darn it all. It's happening out here. Right to 60. Yeah, it's definitely the interior lights, like the interior of the truck is just, uh, you know, it must be the dash lighting or something, I don't know. Seems to be what causes the problem. You jump out and it's all good. Oh, you know what we should do? We'll hop, yeah, we'll, we'll hop back in here. Let's get the cruise going. Hop back in. Let's just turn the, no, <laughs> just wait until... It gets choppy again, and we'll just turn the lights off. Yeah, we'll have to do it when we get to uh, some kind of civilization or something. As in a town or city. Okay, so if we're thinking about lights, and we were talking about that flare thing, when the uh, flare seems to be what, so the distance the light travels and lights something up, seems to be an issue. You would think that on the interior lights, they just wouldn't run any flare. On the dashboard, on the instrument lights, like why have flare on them? You don't need them shining a glow on why we're not looking back here when the lights are on to see what's getting lit up back there. Well, these guys must be aware of what's going on and the, all the uh, frustration it causes people. Okay, a little bit of hiccuping here. Let's turn the lights off. Boom, straight to 60, flat line on the, well, pretty flat. A few little, no, a few little nickels here and there. Niggles, I should say. Wiggles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what the light's off. Dometer reset works on this truck. back on and it takes a bigger hit yeah for sure <laughs> so I'm convinced it's the uh, interior lights I guess one way to tell that is just have them on put the parking lights on so no headlights oh look at that maybe it's the headlights 
Oh man, we're all over the map with this thing. Find out when we uh, we get to some place where everything's looking pretty stable. Yeah, we're gonna get around this guy. Yeah, to slow down to go into the two lane. Man, how often do we have to complain about that? stuttering up here. Oh. All right, so there's a bit, so let's turn the headlights on. Yeah, drops a couple frames, three, four. Turn them off again, just the parking lights. straight through. Yeah, with them on, the headlights, it drops a few frames here, so... Could be. Yeah, it looks like the headlights are uh, more of a problem than just the running lights. That's what I was saying about the instrument lights. <laughs> oh boy, you need the flare from the headlights or else they wouldn't illuminate the road. But why don't all headlights do it? I don't know, what a confusing subject. But the, uh, the uh, you know, I had this thing covered in green watermelon lights. It actually looked pretty cool with the green paint. And uh, that uh, well, it was a real performance hit. Gotta admit, that was not good. The penny lights were only marginally better. I was surprised. I will say there's one thing I like about the penny lights on this truck. Uh, when it comes to the air cleaners if you're going to put them on there there's a bunch of notes so if you depending I think it depends what light bar you select but with the one I have on here if you look at the individual notes for the lights that you want to put on the air filter bars on the front there's uh, there will be eight I believe it's eight notes and you can put an individual light on each one or right in the middle, there's a single node that's kind of overlapping one of the other ones. And if you go in the light menu for the uh, air filter lights, there's a, uh, a selection where you can select uh, seven of whatever particular light. So you click that and it populates seven lights instantly, which is a big time saver. And if, uh, Hopefully more modders can start giving you an option to just splash some lights on it instead of having to click each individual node. That would be nice. Oh yeah, we have 
haven't tried the wheel cam yet here. If I got it in here, oh, I don't. Well, better fix that. I gotta just um, do that thing where I uh, share this configuration with all the profiles uh, on wheel camera. Select like that, and we'll get that button there. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got lights on the back of the uh, blinker bars, or the filter uh, light bars. We should be out there having a look at the view. Corpus Christi, there's the uh, SS Enterprise, or USS Enterprise, the aircraft carrier in the background there. Gonna have to watch for signs from Brownsville here. There's that bridge to nowhere that's never going to get finished. <laughs> From a documentary I watched on TV about it. Cost overruns, companies getting fired and run off, engineers getting sacked. All kinds of drama over that thing. That big bridge is going to go across the channel here. All right, Brownsville, let's have a look here. Oh, man, we must want to stay left here. I didn't see anything. We might have to check in here. Something's coming up ahead. We get to see this bridge construction from this side. Look at that. It's pretty cool though. They modeled all that in here. These ramps. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Pretty neat. I wonder if uh <laughs> if they ever get the darn thing finished while well, they model that in the game. One mile. So, I uh, hope you guys can find time to tune into the live stream later today. And I think, was it tonight? I know uh, there's talk of getting together in convoy. And we would have last night, Friday night. I can't remember what we're supposed to stream or bought. I think everybody wants to stream the Saturday night one. Let's we'll see what happens. I might stream it too. It's kind of fun. I really like it. We've got a great bunch of guys they are convoying with. Oh, what do I do here? I stay in this lane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good group. We're talking about getting a, uh, like we're, we're all using Recon's uh, free dedicated server right now. And Recon is seeing if he can give me management of one of them and we want to change it instead of having the two free ones that, you know, we don't often even get eight guys on it, so 
we're not really in need of two of them right now. And maybe change it up a bit. And they're thinking about um, putting the FLX on it. Maybe a few Z-Mod engines, or we'll see. Maybe Frank Brazil's uh, F450, so he can do uh, escorted trips with a decent driving truck. With the dry, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. What else was there? Oh, there's a few other ones. We don't want to have a whole lot of paid mods on it. But we want to have ones that are specific to things that this small group of us really like. And we all really like the FLX. And, um... Oh, there's Alberta Heavy Hall. 389. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see how that goes. What happens. Those uh, dedicated servers aren't cheap. And it's costing recon. A chunk of change to have three of them hosted. So if we can get one of them, take it over from them, we can pay them for it. And uh, that would uh, be helpful to him, I'm sure, because, I mean, it's not right that he's spending all that money on them and if people aren't using them and uh, not taking advantage of them. That's I'd like to see uh, him made. You know, get square with him over it. And we have been using that one at night to free one quite a bit lately. But what we're going to do, because there's only X number of slots, eight slots on a convoy and on a dedicated server, um, we're probably going to limit the amount of people who can, you know, sign up for it. We'll get in on the act of reimbursing recon to, you know, 10 or 12 or whatever. We're not going to have it wide open because, you know, if guys are going to chip in and pay for it, they're going to want access to it. But you don't, you know, how often are you going to have 12 guys all want to get on at the same time? So we'll, we'll figure that out amongst ourselves and see what we can do about it. But it's all up in the air. That'd be kind of fun. It could make some good content, too. to go. Doing all right. CPU and GPU temps are really good. So the coolers are all working well. Oh, you can see my uh, PC specs at the bottom of the uh, description. And the weak point in my system is the CPU, which we've talked about. <laughs> lots. So that'll change at some point in the next month or two. But the fan is described there. I got the uh, course, uh, the uh, CPU fan is uh, Capellix. It's a 110 from uh, Corsair liquid cooler. It works great. I don't know how, in this CPU, um, it's uh, overclockable. I believe I'm running it at 5 gigahertz. It's 
what it shows when I use the CPU uh, ZID or whatever, or CPU Z or whatever it's called. Up Brownsville. Got to get to that port. I think it's a bit of a, a little journey in there. Let's see. We had, to, we had to turn right to go left here because that's a U-turn lane there, that near lane back there. It's not getting good. Oh, I've got a new um, patron. Patron, uh, Jay Ferg, uh, thanks very much for joining and uh, becoming a patron. That's pretty special. Uh, and I, I value all of you folks. And I just, you know, my only concern is that I'm able to provide value for you. <laughs> I sure hope I am. But I, I really appreciate it because, you know, one of these days I'm going to be able to get that CPU. And it's through your generosity that it'll happen. Yeah, pretty choppy in here. Lights read off. Gets better. So now that's confusing. So we turn the lights right off and it gets better. There's the headlights on. Headlights are off. That's better. We turn them right off. And that's better. Oh man, that's confusing. So maybe the dash lights do have a little bit to play in it. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I guess the upshot of it all is gonna have to sit down and do a whole bunch of stuff, throw it all at it, and write it all down. And then do it again, write it all down, and do it again with a different truck, and just take notes, lots of them, and compare them. Because just doing a couple hours, that I did this morning and not writing anything down. It's just not conclusive. I still have, just as we've proven here, what exactly is the biggest cause? As we know, the headlights do something. It seems to be the dash lights have a part to play in it. But it'd be nice to be able to say definitively this and uh, be done with it. And then people could, you know, you can obviously experiment on your own run things where you want them where you find they work do your graphic settings i just like to have answers 
And then I'd like to understand what solutions are, if any, are available. Because, you know, this PC is reasonably good. It's not bad. Got a great graphics card. Got a lot of memory. Um, good memory. So, there's going to be a lot of folks out there that don't have as good a PC as this that are really struggling with the game. And, uh, man, I feel for you. Probably a barricade in the middle down there, or we couldn't drive through it. But yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's got a light post behind the spot we're going. We're gonna burn a little rubber off those uh, trailer tires here. With that spread axle, we're going to do a uh, turn right here. And uh, <laughs> my friend Ken saying how he got he was driving a spread axle. The only time he drove one in, he comes in the yard and does a turn like this. And the boss man saw him out the window and tore a strip off him. Because they really scrub badly because of the spread on the axle when you do a, a tight turn. here just yep yeah. well there we are Houston to Brownsville, Texas. Three seventy-three. Hmm. Good old Chevy gear ratio. <laughs> Diff ratio and uh, very very common. I used to run one and when I had a small block of my Beaumont. Beaumont is a Canadian Chevelle Pontiac Beaumont. Uh, let's just go back to drive. So what we want to do. Yeah, I like to have Bart's step deck. It's pretty cool. Looks good on here. The uh, Hogue belt fenders, I like those ones from, uh, they fit the arc or the arc, you know, the curve fits the tire well, the 24.5s. And uh, you can certainly make a nice looking truck out of this Roland, that's for sure. That new grill. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm liking it. Uh, paint job's looking okay on there. Even in the sunlight, it's not too bad, not too washed out. So this is going to be for the SCS 389 in Roland, and I'll have that out before you watch the video with any luck, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll maybe see you on the live stream, and uh, take care. And uh, once again, thanks to uh, Jay Ferg for joining as a patron, and to everybody. Thank you. Take care. Bye for now.